Hello, my name is Ron Turnblad. We're here in the sanctuary of St. Andrew's United Methodist Church in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I wanted to talk to you today about how the Blaine Trust enabled us to significantly expand the capabilities of the audiovisual technology in our sanctuary and church. We began working on this program about two years ago. At the time, we were not happy with where our church was going. We wanted to do something different in terms of engaging young people in, the, in particular, but also to reach out to our members who weren't able to come into the services on a regular basis. The first phase was to put flat screen TVs with internet access and DVD players in our youth room and three of our classrooms. This allowed a number of people to begin using curriculum that we've been able to obtain from the Resource Center in Columbia. That initial phase included a totally new sound system, a, a sound booth to house all of the equipment, and a multimedia system. The third phase, which was just completed a month ago, was to put in cameras in our sanctuary. We now have three HD cameras that we use as part of the projection of the service on the flat screens during the service, but mostly used to capture the services either as a file that we burn to a DVD that we take the shut-ins or to create a stream that we send out live to the internet of our services each week. The fourth phase of our program, which we have not yet implemented, is to provide digital signage inside the church facility. We had two locations we plan to put up digital signage and then an outside digital sign for communicating to the community as well as our members and visitors information about our church and, and upcoming activities. The ad hoc committee was informed of the Blaine Trust and we submitted a grant application and we were awarded a $30,000 grant, which was a huge blessing for us. Related to this overall program um, has been engaging a number of persons in this activity that had not previously been involved directly in the audiovisual aspects of our sanctuary. We have recruited and trained 14 people who operate the sound booth and that includes young people as well as older people. It's a good mix and, and it's been very refreshing and um, we've been thankful to have been able to include those people in our ministry here. All of these things have cost us money and we had not, we would never have been as far along as we are today without the Blaine Trust. 